First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rokah Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwant that believe in all sincerity. Now, this lesson came to me through the Spirit as I was perceiving the rebelliousness of our people. When we are around those that are without, you can't help but notice that spirit that works in the children of disobedience. And you perceive that Jake is basically, you know, in the midst of iniquity. And not only Jake, you know, but, but you know, these heathen, you know, Esau as well. Nothing but rebellion out there. Nothing but iniquity. And, you know, while you're among all these different types of spirits, you know, you can't help but think, Yahweh Bashem Shai, that we have this truth. You know, we, we have that, uh, I'm glad I'm not on that side spirit, you know, we're, we're of the, uh, of the mind that, you know, we're, we're glad that we are trying to make it right with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, and, uh, you know, ultimately the Lord's not going to hear them, okay, because our, our people and, you know, these heathens, you know, they don't think the Heavenly Father is going to do anything, you know, that he's not going to do good or evil. Okay. And ultimately, you know, they're going to come to see. Okay. That there is a most high to be feared. You know. They're going to come to see what their lot is. Lord willing, you know. You know, we be the men of the Lord. Okay. But, um, you know, the Lord's not going to hear them. You know, that's something that I was thinking um, as I was, uh, you know, perceiving, you know, the spirits that are, were around me, you know, and everywhere you go, all you feel is rebellion in the air. You know, that spirit works in the children of disobedience and it's heavy in these days, you know, Let's start here. This is John 9 and 31. Now, we know that the Most High heareth not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of the Most High and doeth his will, him he heareth. You see? The Most High does not hear sinners. But if you worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and do his will, you know, the Lord will hear you. Okay? The Lord will hear you, man. Strong's G191 Akuo Akuo It says to attend to consider what is or what is being said you see that's why the scriptures tell you in the uh in the apocrypha and ecclesiasticus that the prayer of the humble pierce at the clouds roughly paraphrasing so the lord is attentive to those who are serving him okay whether great or small he's considering what is happening or what is being said okay to hear something to perceive by the ear what is announced in one's presence you see the lord is seeing your works the lord is seeing all works okay so you know the lord is attentive okay to what is going on with the believers the worshipers Okay, but the Lord is not hearing sinners. He's not a he's not going to at all acquit a sinner. You know, the Lord is, 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 you know, well aware. Okay. Let's get this. This is uh, Zechariah seven and eleven.
but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. And this is the spirit that two thirds of the nation of Israel are in. They're refusing to hearken. They're not considering what is and what is being said. They're not considering the situation that they're in. Okay. Or, or what is being played out in society. See, we have the spirit of of, of understanding that there's a, there's a rebellion going on in the world. Okay. And we're hearkening unto what reproof instruction, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, but they refuse to hearken and pull away the shoulder, right? And stop their ears that they should not hear. They don't want to hear. Okay. Righteousness. Okay. And, um, you know, people don't have to uh, tell you they don't want to hear righteousness in their actions. They show, you know, you know, we perceive, okay, uh, uh, the spirit that our people are in. And, and ultimately, you know, we're glad that we're on the, you know, the right path. But, hey, in that day, the Lord is not going to hear them. You know, the joke's on them, you know, scoffers, scorners, mockers. Who don't understand that there's a most high and, and a savior. And they're going to understand in that day. It says, yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone. Lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh of host has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Our people's hearts as, as an adamant stone. Okay. Okay, lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Okay, and the prophets are back. Okay, and they're speaking the, the words, okay, of Yahweh Bashim Shai. They're speaking the law. Therefore came a great wrath from Yahweh of hosts. So there's a wrath that is coming. Okay, and, you know, all the unbelief <clears throat> is going to be requited, you know. All the unbelief is going to be answered, you know. Therefore, it is come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, so they cried, and I would not hear, saith, the ho saith Yahweh of hosts. You see? So right now the heavenly father is using his prophets to sigh and cry. Strong's H seventy one twenty one. Kara. Kara. To call, call out, recite, read, cry out, proclaim. Okay. What does it say here? To read aloud. Right. The prophets are reading the Bible aloud. Okay. The scriptures are being read aloud. You know. There's a summoning. To get right. There's an invitation. What does it say here? Invite. Okay. Call. Call out. Recite. Cr uh, read. Cry out. Proclaim. So as Yahweh Bashim Yahushai used his prophets to, to call, to cry out, to invite, to summon, to proclaim this truth. Uh, there's people that, that, they, that they will not hear. Okay. Therefore, a wrath is coming. There's a judgment for unbelievers. This is uh, Ezekiel 8 and 18. Therefore, will I also deal in fury. You see, the Lord's going to deal in fury. My eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. You know. The Lord's going to deal in fury. He's not going to spare. He's not going to have pity because he's crying out. This is the time. Okay. Where you perceive what is going on. And if you perceive that there's something ill, then you make it right. But our people are so far gone. Okay. That's what the scriptures say. Woe unto you who call evil good and good evil. They put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's what's, that's what's happening. You know, 
this world is 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 it's upside down it's backwards you know and all we can do is you know thank you how about shimmy that we're we're on a side that is that is getting um you know we're getting set in order now so that we don't have to get set in order in that day because in that day you know the lord's not going to hear He's not going to hear. He cried, you know, out by his prophets right now in this time. But they will not hear. And in that day, they're going to cry in the ears of Yahweh by Shai, and he's not going to listen. This is Proverbs 15 and 20, 29. Yahweh by Shai is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. You see, Yahweh Bashemi Shai, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. So the Lord is hearing. He's seen. He's paying attention. He's taking note, okay, of who's repenting, who's fighting the good fight, who's trying to stand upright, you know, and who is in the spirit of rebelliousness, okay? The Lord's not, he's not, he's not hearing that. Okay. You know. The Lord is not taking account the, 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 you know, the sacrifice of the wicked. Okay. Because they're, they're, they're basically, uh, doing works to uh to upset the heavenly father while the righteous are doing works to uh to please the heavenly father and he's going to hear them you know he's going to be attentive he's seen you know and this is something that i was perceiving in the spirit because you know you can't help but look around and, and see uh, you know a spirit of just you know rebellion in the world you know and all you can say is, man, these people are going to see, like, you're going to see, you're going to see, man, that, you know, that, 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 what you think is cool, it ain't cool, you know? You know, disobeying the Heavenly Father, okay, by your deeds, you know, it, it's not cool, man. You know, and you got a lot of Christians, too. You got a lot of Christians that they, 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 they think they walk an old lady across the street and, and, and don't donate to the goodwill and they're straight. That, that's not righteousness, man. The Lord wants you to worship him in spirit and in truth. There's labor to be put in. There's 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 rehearsing of righteous acts. You know, there's calling on the true name. There's there's there you have to understand you know the Lord and his truth. And not establish your own righteousness. You got a, a, a bunch of people that are just doing their own thing. Okay. Being righteous every other day. Every other week. You know, they're just ungodly. You know. Running amok. Laughing. Joking. Like you know. And we laugh and joke too. But. But you know. There, there's there's an ungodly multitude out there. And you can't help but think that man. You gonna get it in that day. You gonna see. You know, the Lord, the Lord ain't going to be with you, man. You know, Lord willing, he's with us, of course. First, you know, we apply all these things to ourselves. But, but you know, you know, we hey, we believe we're on a, a path, you know, that, that is, a, you know, we're trying to appease his wrath. If that's the correct word. This is uh, Psalms 34 and 15. I'll end it out. The eyes of Yahweh, Bashem Shai, are upon the righteous. You see, his eyes are upon the righteous. The Lord is seeing the righteous. He's he's taking note of everything, everything. Strong's H fifty eight sixty nine. Ayan. Right. Ayan. Physical eye, showing as showing mental qualities of mental and spiritual faculties. Yeah, the Lord sees spiritually and physically what everyone is doing, man. What the righteous are, are are doing, and his ears are open unto their cry. Okay, look at this word "cry." Strong's H seventy seven seventy five. 
Shava. Cry for help. Shava. Right. And? Right, the righteous are crying for help. Okay. I don't know, what, what do the scriptures say that the, um, roughly paraphrasing, there's a scripture that says, um, The wicked pass by and are I forget it, it, it escapes me you know a lot of people are just go, bow guarding in the world you know confident in a plain way but the Lord he sees the righteous he hears their cry their cry for help as opposed to people who are just going hard in wickedness. Okay. There's a scripture that I wanted to quote. It escapes me. Roughly paraphrasing. Um, the righteous hideth himself. And the wicked pass by. If anybody knows where that's at, you can look it up. Because, like, as I mentioned, you know, the wicked, you know, the rebellious, they're, you know, they they, they just bow guard into in wickedness. You know, no, no, uh, no, no uh, there's no chill. You know, that, that spirit of rebellion is heavy. Okay. And the, the so the eyes of the Lord are upon both. Okay. The face of Yahweh Bashem Yashai is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. You see? You know, starting with Esau Edom. Okay. The other nations, you know, and even two thirds are going to be cut off. Okay. You know, in the kingdom, they you know, the Lord's going to take ungodliness away from Jacob, but but you know, there's there's going to be some that are that are, you know. They're going to be, uh, um, they're going to be last in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, it says the righteous cry in Yahweh by Shemiah Shai heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Yeah, the, the righteous cry for help and the Lord hears them. The Lord uplifts the righteous, okay, and delivers them out of all their troubles, you know. I'll read a couple more. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, you know, it's all about being, uh, uh, you know, accountable. You know, highly accountable for what you do and what you say. The Lord sees that. He sees someone who is, who's, you know, who is contrite. Okay. Who knows that he needs Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivereth him out of them all. Right, so the afflictions of the righteous are many, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, you see? Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Okay, the Lord casteth away the, the substance of the wicked. You know? The Lord is far from the wicked. The Lord is far from evil, man. He heareth not sinners, you know. Our people are just laughing it up, you know, running amok, you know. But, but you know, they're, they're, they're going to see, okay. The Lord's not going to be with them. The Lord's not going to hear them, man. They're going to cry to the Lord in that day for help, and the Lord ain't going to hear them. You know, that's something that came to my mind. I was just, you know, you perceive what's going on around you. Like, you can literally... You know, perceive, you know, rebellion out and about. And you're just like, man, I'm just thankful that, you know, that we have a chance. You know, we, we have a shot, so to speak. <clears throat> it says, Yahweh redeemeth the soul of his servants. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. All right, the Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants. But none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Okay, so... Lord willing, this was edifying something in my spirit. I wanted to, you know, put out there. 
you know. You know, if you do the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man, the Lord, you know, he's hearing, he's watching, man. You know, he, you, you will not be desolate. You know, the Lord is going to, you know, preserve, okay, his elect, man. Lord willing, you know, we be those men. But, you know, those that, that are doing wicked, okay, the Lord's not hearing them. He's not, he's not hearing them. He's taking note, but, you know, it, it's, it's ultimately for, for a judgment. Okay, so Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rokakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to all you, Akim and you, Akwat, that believe in all sincerity. Shalom.